And welcome back to the locker room right here at Thornberry Creek at Oneida. Dale celebrating his 60th birthday out in the crowd. Look at the, the candles. Oh, go ahead, blow yeah. them out. Blow, I don't know if you can hear me. Go ahead, blow, blow them out, out Dale. Dale. Come on, Dale, blow Come them on. out. All right. <laughs> I know, we said that already. All right, so Cowboys, both three and one. Green Bay sitting in the same spot. I don't remember what the exact number is, but I think it's like 13 out of the 16 or 12 out of the 16 mm. teams in the NFC are 500 or better. Oh. There's only a couple dogs that are 0 and, 0 and 4. Right. The division, the NFC is a, a very it. tough div, uh, division across the board. And the NFC uh, North is unbelievable. So I think that the team that comes out of the North are going to have a chance to go very, very deep into the playoffs. And look, Dak Prescott, he's a solid player. We know they've got Zeke Elliott and really starts with stopping the run. You want to to make Dak beat you, not let Elliott run all over you. Right. Uh, One thing about uh, Zeke, I don't know if you can per se stop him. We have to slow him down right. because he is the uh, premier back, probably the top running back in the National Football League. I know he's getting paid yeah. as the top running back in the National Football League. So we have to go in there and handle our business to get the Packers and um, uh, get the, uh, the Cowboys in third and long so Dak can, can, we can put some pressure on Dak. Yep, our top two keys to the game, obviously slow down Zeke, pressure Prescott. And then third downs and red zone. We need some improvement in both areas because third, third down has, has, I would say, has been worse than the red zone. Right. Overall, uh, over the four-game stretch. So far, the first month of the season, uh, our Achilles heel has been, uh, you know, the red zone and third down. Uh, but for as our defense, we struggled Thursday night because uh, the Eagles was uh, third and short. So that gave them a lot of, uh, a lot of different options. So we got to be able to put the Cowboys in third and long. And look, schedule-wise, it was great to have five out of seven because then all of a sudden you got the Lions coming here on Monday night. Yes. They look much improved. Uh, had a chance, really should have beat Kansas City. They should have. And, and then after that, you got the Raiders. And they're kind of a mixed bag of who knows what team is going to show up. Right. From there, four out of five on the road. You right. got the Chargers and the Chiefs and back home for one. And then who knows? I mean, the Niners and the Giants. Are they, I mean, the Niners are one of the teams that are still undefeated. undefeated right now. So the, the, the schedule doesn't get any um, uh, easier going down the stretch. So we have a tough game coming up on Sunday. We have to go, go into Dallas and come away with the win. If we do that, we can really control our own destiny. Should be fun. That will do it for this edition of Locker Room. He's George Kuntz. Special thanks to Blake Martinez for stopping by, signing some autographs for the crowd. Coming up on Locker Room OT at wearegreenbay.com, we've got the Ashwaubenon on football program. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Thank you for watching Locker Room. Sponsored by the Oneida Nation.